Sweet Home Alabama, Bobby Jones, and Meatloaf are all on this day. Welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is September 27th, 2022. It is the 270th day of the year. There are 95 days left in 2022. It's the 39th Tuesday in the 39th week and the 6th day of fall. You got 85 days left until winter. Today is National Chocolate Milk Day. Each year on September 27th, folks enjoy a tall, frosty glass and celebrate National Chocolate Milk Day. In the late 1680s, an Irish-born physician by the name of Sir Hans Sloan invented the chocolatey beverage. Dr. Sloan encountered a local beverage while visiting in Jamaica. It was a mix of coca and water together, and it was kind of, he said, not that good. So he decided it was a good idea, and he started testing with other recipes or concoctions and finally settled on milk. Originally, it was given to people as a medicine. All right, let's see what else September 27th has given us. 1908, production of the Model T automobile begins at the Ford plant in Detroit, Michigan. 1930, Bobby Jones wins the Grand Slam of golf. This is before the Masters. 1941, the SS Patrick Henry is launched, becoming the first of more than 2,700 Liberty ships. My grandfather worked on those. He was a electrician in the movie studios prior to the war, I guess. And when the war started up, he got involved in that. 1944, the Castle mission results in the largest loss of a U.S. Air Force group on any mission in World War II. So this mission on September 27th, 1944, was directed at Castle, Germany, and they had an engineering works company there and factory that they wanted to just destroy. It was producing Tiger and Panther tanks, which were creating a lot of havoc for the U.S. and allies during World War II. These tanks were amazing. For this mission, the 8th Air Force dispatched 283 B-24 Liberator bombers with an escort of about 200 P-51 Mustang fighters. As a result of a navigation error, the lead ship from the 445th Bombardment Group turned almost due east instead of east-southeast, and its 35 bombers bypassed Castle. Since they figured out they had missed Castle, they found a village and a railway facility. Now, the bummer was they missed the repair shop and the marshalling yard of the railway facility. They ended up bombing a small village with about 25 buildings. The villagers counted 103 bomb craters. As a result of the change of course, the bombers lost their fighter escorts on the way home. Well, on the way back, the bombers were attacked by about 150 fighter aircraft from the German Luftwaffe. And for you history buffs, this is also called a Jakobswater, which was a successor to fighter wings for the Luftwaffe. But yeah, the American losses were 31 B-24 Liberator bombers and one P-51 Mustang that happened before they made their navigational error. 118 Americans were killed, of whom 11 were murdered after parachuting to safety. 121 Americans ended up in German POW camps and survived. German losses came to 29 fighters and 18 pilots killed. In addition, seven people died when a German airplane crashed into a German medical base. The air battle was one of the largest confrontations between the United States Army's Air Force and the Luftwaffe, which was barely still active at the time. In the following days, the U.S. Air Force dropped leaflets over the bombing areas to try and defend the captured crews, making promises if they got their pilots and their airmen back to safety. 1962, Rachel Carson's book Silent Spring is published, inspiring an environmental movement and creation of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. 1996, confusion on a tanker ship results in the Julie N. oil spill in Portland, Maine. 1998, the Google internet search engine retroactively claims this date as its birthday. 2019, over 2 million people participate in a worldwide strike to protest climate change across over 2,000 locations worldwide. Movies released on September 27, 2002, Sweet Home Alabama. This was a really cute movie starring Reese Witherspoon. A woman returns home to Alabama after seven years of separation from her husband in order to obtain a divorce. Reese Witherspoon was nominated for a Teen Choice Award and an MTV Movie Award for this thing. It was a pretty good movie. She's like a girl from a small town in Alabama who marries her high school boyfriend and then they separate and she moves to New York. Her life is totally different. She's now a fashion designer and she's about to marry an extremely rich guy. Well, then she remembers she's still married to the guy 
from home. So she has to secretly get this divorce before the press finds out because she's kind of well known and her future new husband is extremely well known. I think his mother was the governor. It's a great movie though. Born on September 27th, 1947, Meatloaf. Born Marvin Lee a day. This Grammy Award winning rock singer has sold over 40 million copies of his 1977 album, Bad Out of Hell. He played his first gig at the cave in Huntington Beach, California. He survived numerous near death experiences like crashing his car, getting hit by a shot in a shot put event, fainting on stage, and breaking both his legs after jumping off stage during a performance. I loved him in Fight Club, he played Big Bob and he was great in there. His early childhood is very interesting. I may have talked about him before, maybe on his day he died for this, but it was only him and his mom, I believe. And she died when he was a teenager, like just out of high school. And he took some money that was given to him from her death, got an apartment and just stayed in the apartment in Texas until his friends found him and basically forced him to get off his butt and move to Los Angeles and try and get his career going. Died on September 27th, 2017, we lost Hugh Hefner, magazine publisher, First Amendment advocate, and founder of Playboy Enterprises. He worked as a reporter for the United States Army's military newspaper in the late 1940s. He earned a degree in psychology with a double minor in art and creative writing in less than three years. He was married to so many people. <laughs> They've got a list of them. Uh, Mildred Williams from 1949 to 1959. In 1989, he married Playmate of the Year Kimberly Conrad. He married 26-year-old Crystal Harris on December 31st, 2012. When he was 86 years old, his oldest son is named David Hefner. He died at the Playboy Mansion on September 27, 2017 at the age of 91. The cause of death was an E. coli infection. He is interned at Westwood Memorial Park in Los Angeles. He's buried right next to Marilyn Monroe, for which he paid $75,000 for in 1992. And he said, spending eternity next to Marilyn is an opportunity too sweet to pass. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a productive day, and be nice to each other.